The AR-15 is an awesome weapon. Designed uniquely for the dense jungles of Vietnam. It's lightweight. Easy to control. And can be fired by a 4 foot 10 inch 100 pound boy or a 6 foot 7 inch 275 pound man. Not to forget the fact that it is extremely accurate right out of the box. Hello, I'm Lenny McGill. While the M16 AR-15 is quite capable of accurate fire at 100, 200, even 600 yards, it was conceived for close quarter combat, CQC, shooting at distances of 50, 25, 10 yards, and even closer. The government knew that its soldiers were not going to be marksmen. In fact, many of the new recruits had never even fired a gun before entering the military. So they had to develop a firearm that was lightweight, easy to carry, easy to shoot, and pointable. Yes, I said pointable, because the military knew that when a squad was ambushed, the first thing that they're going to do is turn, point the gun in the direction of the danger, and pull the trigger. Up, up. So here you have it, the M16 AR-15, the world's most pointable, most accurate, most devastating assault rifle available to any armed forces on the planet, or not. It is truly the most awesome assault rifle available for CQC, close quarter combat. Coming up in this video, I want to show you why. Coming up, you'll learn how to shoot fast and accurately at single targets and then at multiple targets. Why the U.S. military chose the 223 round over the beefier 308 cartridge. How to use cover as support for extremely accurate shooting. A battle proven method on how to increase your ammunition supply. Why and how you should practice shooting on the move. Same thing, okay? And the secret to fast, accurate shooting. So as you can see, we've got a great program coming up, all designed to help you understand the awesome power of the AR-15. I call it AR-15 CQC. Let's go ahead and talk now about the gear that I've got on, my CQC gear, because uh, I want to get it over with here at the beginning of this stage of the program. And then uh, later on, we won't have to talk about it all. You'll already know what I've got on. A lot of people are going to be looking at it and say, what the heck's he wearing and why and how and all that stuff. So uh, first off, I've got a Blackhawk vest on. This is an assault type vest, uh, uh, a load bearing vest, if you will. Got a lot of different pockets here. This is a different configuration uh, than most because it has a, uh, a holster on this side. So what I'm going to do is show you here keep a pistol in there securely. It's a nice little option. I think, you know, for true CQC, you're going to want to go ahead and have an ultimate or alternative weapon just in case you have a malfunction or you lose this gun. You can see here we've got a pouch for a uh, firearm, a lot of other pouches. In here, these pouches are designed to carry AR-15 style magazines. You can put up to three in each pouch. There's two different pouches this way. Also, some more pouches for ancillary things stuff that you want to carry. You also see on the back there's a bunch of uh, uh, hookup uh, webbing bars which you can hook things to and secure things to. So that's the vest. I'm wearing some gloves because uh, when you shoot a lot uh, you want to wear some kind of gloves. These are receiver gloves that are made by Nike, uh, football type receiver gloves and they uh, really just uh, you know give you something to when you really bear down on the rifle, especially uh, when I get into the 308 a little later on, uh, it uh, gives you uh, something to hold on to all right, without beating your hands up too much. The other thing I want to draw your attention to is the uh, tactical uh, sl thigh holster here, tactical mounted holster. It's got a rotating hood. It's really a trick setup. You can see that 
two things it does. It enables my hand to be right here with the gun where I am. I don't have to worry about any other type of drawing. I don't have to bring my hand up. My hand is on the gun, okay? Second thing, it holds the gun extremely secure. The rotating hood is not going to come open unless I depress it with my thumb and slide it open and pull the gun out. All right, that's how it works. All right, and then we come up and we can access our shot. Again, back in. Here's what's very cool too. You push it in and to secure, just pull the hood up. And now the gun is very secure. These are very popular with law enforcement, uh, special forces type teams, uh, SEAL teams, that kind of stuff, because it is the true uh, trick set up for close quarter combat. Again, close quarter, we're talking about being close. We're talking about getting close to people, and people are going to be able to grab you, grab your weapon, grab your rifle. You need to have a backup rifle, a knife, something, because if you lose your primary weapon, you're in big trouble. All right, so now I've kind of detailed some of the gear I've got on what I'm wearing. Uh, let's talk now about the rifles we're going to be working with primarily today. Now, it is AR-15 CQC, so obviously we're working with AR-15s. I'm going to show you the uh, Colt AR-15 I've got here. Uh, it's uh, the Sporter H-Bar. It's got a little heavier barrel than your standard uh, AR-15. The heavier barrel meaning that it, the, it's a little thicker steel. All right. Now what that gives you is the fact that it's thicker steel means there's going to be less vibration, hence a truer shot over the course of time, especially when you shoot lots of shots and the barrel heats up. Uh, that's what the H-bar, heavy barrel, means, okay? Because there's more steel there, it's going to have a truer shooting over a course of fire, say in competition, and or if you're in battle or something like that, okay? Uh, the AR-15, like I said, uh, most of you know the operation of the gun. If you don't know the operation of the gun, uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and pick up my other tape. It's called uh, Mastering the AR-15. talks about all how to load, how to shoot, how to sight it in, all those uh, particulars uh, getting you started with the firearm. But uh, like I said, I'm introducing this gun right now uh, because I want you to know this is what we're going to be working with, and I've got another gun we're going to be working with uh, as well. It is the carbine version, CAR-15. Carbine meaning shorter. You can see this gun is substantially shorter than this gun. The barrel itself is approximately three inches shorter. The stock is collapsible on the CAR. Okay, you'll see there's a little button here. You can pull the stock out. That gives you shooting position here. It's a lot lighter. This is the standard barrel, much lighter than the heavy barrel. Uh, the gun itself is a lot lighter because it doesn't have all the stock and everything back there. Uh, this is probably the true choice for CQC, for close quarter combat, only because it's so darn small and so darn light, okay? Again, by being able to solder the gun up in here, I'm cutting five to six inches off the barrel length, and that's dramatic when you're in a close environment, especially inside of a house or, um, entering a house. When you go around a corner, you've got that long barrel sticking out of there. Long barrel, something we'll talk about a little later on, has a chance to be picked off or someone's going to grab it or then struggle with your weapon. All right? Not a real good idea to grab hold of that barrel, but we'll talk about that, like I said, later on. So this is the CQC uh, or the CAR-15. Uh, and one thing I do want to draw your attention to is I've got the new Surefire Tactical Mounted Light. It's an integral piece. Okay, So let me go ahead and show you this here. If I can, you can see it's all one piece. Basically, what Surefire has done is they've come up with a system where you replace the fore-end grip, the heat shield grip, with their grip, and then it has a light built into it. So no wires, no fuss, no muss. You just put that on there, it's on. Batteries are built into it. They do change out, of course. And then when you want to turn the light on, you just, there it is. There's a touchpad here built into the grip itself, and boom. It's got a true on-off switch, if in case you don't want to hit that by mistake, it won't go on. Then for tap